what's going on guys welcome back to the youtube channel and today we are building the ft vegan now for those of you guys that don't know this is plain you can actually build it with two different types of motors you can build it with the evdf style which is a tube type of motor like this or you can actually build it with a regular conventional motor prop now you only need two servos for this 9 gram, of course, um, a 2200 milliamp battery, and that's basically it, to be honest. And I could basically break it down to you guys when, after we build everything, and show you guys exactly what I got in there. Um, as much as I can show you, because everything might be a little covered. But, to my knowledge, this should be a medium to advanced uh, build. Um... I only looked at the build one time. I will leave a link in the description below to where you guys can actually get this yourself for free. You guys don't have to always buy anything. This is exactly why I like the flight test planes. It actually gives me a chance to help you guys and it gives back to everybody, you know? Well, with that all being said and done, let's get right into the job. Hey, what's up guys and we're done just like that basically it took me a little while it took me about three hours just because i was taking my time but you see me all rushing that was just a time lapse guys everything is really long <laughs> um and this is what we came up with got your nine gram servos i will leave a link in the description where to get these as well for amazon really cheap and durable i really like those for the price i went with the silver bottom just so when the sun reflects off of it a little bit i can see a little better and the only reason i actually do this in a lot of my planes i tend to just always do the nose a different color for navigational purposes i always like to know my direction of my plane because I, I i always fly far i really like flying far i don't know why but one with the bright orange on the top it's pretty nice pretty nice now it does have the edf system in there you guys can't see let me see you guys can't see right there a little bit so basically that's really it it got a 63 millimeter um EDF system in it with I think it's a 40 yeah 40 amp it might be more I'm not too sure I, it's a long while time I'll leave a link in the description below where to get those as well 
really cheap on Amazon. But this is it right here. Now it's not fully done. I just have to dial in my rates. Um, that's very important in every aircraft that you build. You always want to make sure you dial in your rates before you go out and try to go for a maiden. Um, show you how the hatch moves. It was just like this, so just like so. Now you can actually tape this on. Um, I chose to glue it because only only because I I'm really not gonna fly this as much. And for one, I'm probably just gonna do a maiden for you guys and just put it up. That's what I really do with most of my planes. Besides when they crash, actually what I did was so. As you can see, this is, you see this double? I'll tell you guys what I did. I soldered basically four, three connectors in there. Um, so this is, there's one connector going into my speed control. And then these two are coming out so I can literally connect two batteries parallel. Um, the way I have it set up, it's not going to give me the, any more battery. I mean, any more flight time. It's going to be, be the same flight time, but it's just basically for a weight and just more for weight honestly um i'd rather just have the two batteries in there sometimes it does give me a little bit longer battery life depending on how i fly but this should be a very very fast plane just because i hear that the edf systems are very fast um, i never flew edf um i really don't like bank and yank this is a bank and yank plane Elevans. Um, if you guys do not know what Elevans is, Elevans is ailerons and Elevans mixed together. If I'm not mistaken. Um, yes. And it's not really hard. I use. I really learned on a, uh, the flight test F22. That's how I learned how to fly bank and yank a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, that's exactly what we came up with. Now, I'm gonna pair this up with a um, you can use anything between a 2200 to a 3000 milliamp battery. I'm actually gonna use my 3000, I'm gonna put it up in there and make sure I'm actually gonna pair it up in the nose. I ordered some retracts for this. I'm gonna try to add the retracts either right here on the nose or right in the bottom, and then two in the back because I really I really do I, I don't like hand launching my planes I like putting them on the ground like a traditional airplane or a jet and just taking off it's, it's nothing more satisfying than a nice takeoff and a nice landing beautiful that's nothing more satisfying I got a lot of those I will show you guys some clips of that um, and basically that's it guys if you guys have any questions or anything else, you guys can leave a comment in the description below. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, for more nice content like this. Because when I build stuff like this, it's, this is not for me. This is for you guys. Because um, this is like more out of my style. I really like uh, the Cubs. I like the traditional Mustangs. Um, the P-50. Well, no, the P40. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my my uh, opinion in the basically the um, the beginner plane that I think that everybody should use as a beginner plane because if you guys build it as a three channel, which is the Bushwhacker from Flight Test, where we're gonna build it at in the future. Um, but yeah, guys, it's really nice. It's really nice. I like it. I like how it came out. I want to add some flight test sticker on it. Um, I have some flight test stickers. I just have to look for some. Um, other than that, guys, if you guys have any questions, like I said, you guys can leave a comment in the description below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And don't be shy. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. You know, um, I might fly this. But I don't know.